today. Like hey, we're, you guys are live right now. We're live. We're, live. we're hot. Okay, we're live. There's we're hot. A hot. We're mic. live. Okay. <laughs> yep. Now, <laughs> you weren't supposed to be on today. No. This is just a fly. Just, just a guess. I don't think you're even on the camera, are you? Is he on the camera? Know. Let us know. Hey, I'm over here, man. <laughs> oh, we'll see when it comes on here. I'm just having a great time just to join. Join podcast. We've done two chapels, another podcast, and this one. It's been yeah. a busy day. It's I don't even day. know where our child is. I heard Welcome. Stop, grade. just stop. Welcome. <laughs> here we are. We're having a fun time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Okay, just comment on. Let us know who's watching. We're glad to have you today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. That's right. I said it's offensive. I said, ladies and gentlemen kind of world we're living in that's offensive <laughs> it's true Friends. you it's offend true. me for thinking ladies and gentlemen's weird yes okay praise god Man. where are we so today we're talking about praying we're not talking about praying but i want to pray first father in jesus yes. name help this broadcast holy spirit i think you're here apart from you we can do nothing yes. Lord. i thank you for your joy filling this whole broadcast lord and nah, the goodness of god the kingdom of god being here holy spirit lead us anoint us and uh, lord thank you for being in us and speaking through us in jesus name amen, amen. okay we got a picture here we got a picture, you got a picture. i'm on i'm on oh, we look great oh it's great we're a little tight it looks like a board oh, that's all right great. so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing with that mic there? All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> we got to go. Hey, the joy you uh, of the Holy Ghost Hey, I got here. this. We well, got this that's, too. I almost no, no, I have so today. Okay, listen. One million. This is the thought. Are you ready? Yes. Prayer. When you think of prayer, what is it? I, I can't. I'm just laughing too much. But all right. Prayer. <laughs> prayer. What is prayer? Communicating <laughs> with God. Yeah. Yes. You know a lot of prayers for people? Prayer. Begging. Is. Yeah, it's begging, but it shouldn't be. A wish. A wish. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. A hope and a wish. Are we getting too spiritual too soon? Can we catch up from spring break? Yeah, let's catch up. Let's catch up. Tim, how was your spring Tim, break? I feel so, like I haven't seen you in a while. I, I had a good spring break, <laughs> but I had a, I had a bad batch. <laughs> yeah, oh, bad batch. I don't want to hear that story. I don't want to give a testimony. <laughs> you went where? I went to Oahu, to the <laughs> islands of <laughs> He's like kind of funny, didn't he? Oahu. Okay, go Oahu. Ahead. And it was absolutely pristine weather and beautiful. 8 a.m., it's as nice as it's going to be all day long. And just sunny, beautiful. You went there by yourself? That was as nice I was as it with, was going to be I at 8 a.m.? Yes, and it didn't, didn't change. Didn't get nicer? <laughs> no, that's how amazing it is. Okay. It's top-notch nice at 8 a.m., <laughs> and it stays that the whole way. <laughs> I went with my sister, uh, her, her husband, and little Jimmy Danny, who's eight months old, Bubsy. And we're all in one room together. I don't, I don't even know what language you're speaking, but okay. <laughs> you, His you whole some family people. has random nicknames. Names. They don't random do names. Names. Not mom and dad, I pops and honors. Was, uh, and uh, Bubsy. Baby Jano. Yeah, well, my, my brother in law's last name's Janitopoulos, so we call him Jano. So his first name's Jano now. We call him Baby Jano, but now I like Bubsy. Bubsy. Yeah. And okay. you can spell that however you like. I like B U B S Y, Bubsy. <laughs> Bubsy. You can throw a G in there, but I don't really go yeah. hard. Bugsby. Now, yeah. Tim's mom's name, we call her Nonners, but she has another name, Baca, too. Yeah, Baca, I think, is a Croatian is that like from name Chewbacca? for grandma. <laughs> no, I think it's Croatian. <laughs> no, they, they, Josh they, just left. <laughs> it's not Chewbacca. Because, <laughs> hey, because it's with a K. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Baca. <laughs> I'm thinking of that phone call. Oh my Remember God. that break? Yes. Remember that break you showed me? No. The guy was upset. The guy broke up with his oh. phone. <laughs> what did he do? He said, he said, he said best Chewbacca impersonation. I'll give $100 to him. Put her phone number out. Put his ex-girlfriend's oh number. If people kept calling Put his ex-girlfriend's phone number on their best Chewbacca phone impersonation. Because I'm in there all calling. And her voice <laughs> fails. She would just, you she have 60 messages. And she posted a video like crying. This is not funny. She posted a video. It was on the news. Yes. Yeah, it was on the news. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bullying. Okay, wow. Bullying, okay. Yeah, okay. so so Baca and then Pops is just Pops. Yeah, that's Pops. And they just left. They just left. They, they were here, here for a month. They loved yes. it. They got Hi, home. Hi, Pops and Honors. Pops and Honors are watching. It was, it was like 38 degrees. But my, my dad said, God bless him. He said he got off the airport and walked into O'Hare, and he said it felt like he was walking into hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's how beautiful we have it here, though. Yes. Palm Springs is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. We've had a great year here, too, weather-wise. Yeah. Tim doesn't approve of it, but Jim and I... We no, no, I'm, cool. I'm happy now. I'm happy. It's You're warm. Happy now. It was cold for a little too long for me. Man, yeah. I like the cold. Wonderful. I like the cold. Yeah. Anyway. You haven't lived here long Okay, <laughs> so the, when we went to Disneyland, went on a cruise, had a good time. Yeah. If you want to find out more about uh, some of the stories there, you can check Wednesday Night Service. Or what's your show thing called coming up Tuesday? Uh, 
<laughs> chit chat? No, what no it's it? not chit chat. <laughs> Giant Slayer is with Sandy Donaldson. Wow. Check it out Tuesday. Yes. Yes. And next week we're gonna have Pastor Fred on here. Pastor Fred, you are big time. We It'll are. be a big time Does show. Does he know? This is Rinky Deep Rinky Deep. Oh, well, we're thank just you. yeah. You're on here, three of us. We're just kind of messing around. <laughs> next week he's on here, and boom, you watch out. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. Excited. Mm -hmm. Boom goes the dynamite. And boom, did you ever see that video? <laughs> boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> And boom goes the dynamite. No, Every three-pointer, and boom goes the dynamite. The announcer. <laughs> oh, yeah. really? Yes. Okay, anyway. No. Dynamite All right. Next week. Pastor so, yes, Fred. we did. We had a good time. Yes. We had a good time. Yeah. We, we saw a sailboat almost hit our cruise ship. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. sailboat about 10 feet from our cruise that ship. That was yeah. intense. That was a little wild. That we didn't intense. know whether to laugh or to, or to freak out. Yeah. yeah. I asked guest services, but they didn't really speak English. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm it's like, okay. no, like a boat almost hit us. Do you know that? But then we found out the captain turned around for two hours and went to go find him. That's yeah, good. Jimmy got to ask the captain. So, yeah. And they were they were fine. That's good. So, praise God. It was fun. Why am I getting buzzed here? Did you just get something? I got a text. Oh, you got, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. Who's blowing you up? <laughs> I can't even read it yeah. online. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> someone's. Don't read it. <laughs> Who is that? Who is One that? of our kids is in the office. Okay. <laughs> nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? What are we doing today? All right, let's go. We're okay, done. Okay, so look, prayer. Check it out. We, we caught up. We this caught up. a little up. more serious, kind of. But you know what? The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. And today we're having some joy. Amen. Yes. So I love what Pastor Jonathan said. Don't trust a preacher who doesn't have joy in his life. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, those good. preachers are just like Cranky. real stiff. Yeah. Oh. yeah, real stiff. You need to obey. You need you. No. <laughs> Take a hike. Because righteous peace and joy is in the Holy Ghost. Hey, I found a song on YouTube. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Yes. Yeah, Burl Ives, it's of, a good one. You've kind of abandoned the take a hike and take a hike for the to Jimmy Crack, Crack Corn. Jimmy Crack and if you don't know what we're talking care. about, watch, watch Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. It's yes. every Wednesday night service is Jimmy Crack Corn. That's right. Yes. And we will be offering t shirts shortly. I'm gonna <laughs> um, play I'm gonna play I need a t shirt and I'm also gonna play it. Tim, we need services. to make a t-shirt, and anybody that gives, we will then uh, send them you, a free you, t-shirt. You get a Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. <laughs> Is this it? And it's a picture of Jim with the thumbs up. Yeah, that's an old one. Yeah. When I was young, oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of lyrics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What are we doing right now? <laughs> what year is that from? I don't know. Here we go. Jimmy Crack Corn. I'm pretty sure that was on a Tom and Jerry at one point. Yeah, how do we even know that? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get to what we're getting to. So okay. check it out. I do want to talk about prayer today. Is anybody, uh, what do we got? Any comments or anything? Anyway, uh, how do you pull your chat thing up? Uh, you, you put it oh, over. You got to go sideways. Yeah. Anyway, prayer. A lot of people looked at prayer as asking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are asking for things that we already have. Yeah. That's true. Don't ask now, there are things you do really ask. I shouldn't say don't ask at all, because obviously you ask God. But there's a lot of things that we ask and beg for that he's already answered. Mm -hmm. There's some things that he hasn't. You can ask, ask God for direction, ask God for different things. You can ask for wisdom. We're told to do that. Mm -hmm. But certain things we release. We release God, right. not begging God. I think a lot of times we go to prayer, and it's like you said, it's wishing, it's hoping, it's begging, rather than... Uh, Asking or speaking it and releasing it in faith. Yeah. Like if something's battling some, someone is battling something and I'm praying for it. I don't say, oh God, please, if you feel like it, forgive them. Or, or please, I ask you to free them of depression. I say, depression, go. Right. I yeah. command it. Yeah. Um, if I'm praying for healing, I command, you know, headache, leave in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it goes. Mm-hmm. I speak it, I believe it, and I release it. I release the kingdom of God. You're to release the kingdom of God. It's within you. Yeah. And you have God in you. And so rather than crying up, oh, please, you have him in you, and you release the kingdom of God to people. Yeah. Right. And to the earth. And so instead of begging and crying out, it reminds me of Moses when God's like, don't cry out to me. Use your rod. Yeah. yeah. And the rod, we have the word of God that we can stretch forth and speak, and we can say and decree things. And, oh, God, please, please, please. Forgive me for what I just did. He already answered. Mm -hmm. He already yeah. forgave. Lord, thank you for forgiving me. Yeah. I might feel guilty. I might feel shame. But thank you that those are just emotions and feelings that are being put on me by the enemy. I don't believe your word and what it says. And those go in Jesus' name. Start praising God. The emotions will follow. Yeah. Don't live life by emotions. Live life by faith in the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
And that's very key. And so I think it's important that we release things and release things and release God to people and the kingdom of God to people. And religion is more about begging. Yeah. Wouldn't mm-hmm. you say, can you think of some instances of that? Or <clears throat> what were you going to say? Go ahead. Well, I just, how did you get from the point of not being a beggar to knowing what you have and then releasing it? A few, uh, you know, it's funny. You can say, what's, how did you get where you are and part of it is you just do like you get first of all you get around people that walk in it yeah and it's going to rub off on you you go to the south you're going to come back with a southern accent not me how did you get that southern accent i don't know i just hung out with them and started saying y'all or whatever yeah Mm -hmm. it just i didn't try i just that's the easy just get around them Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you start praying like them and you start releasing that authority and that oil that they carry that anointing they carry rubs off on you and you start walking in the same thing that people uh, that walk like that do. So that's part of it. It rubs off on you. Um, you start seeing in the word of God how, how Jesus handled things, how the apostles handled things. They didn't say, oh God, please um, let this man, if, you, if, you, if, if it's your will, let him walk. Let him, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paul looked and said he, when he saw that the man had faith to be healed. Mm-hmm. And then he prayed and they would command. Yeah. They would, they would speak it forth or they would release it um, versus, you know, Jesus didn't say, oh, Father, please let us survive this storm. If it be your will, I beg you, please, I'm begging, let the storm go away. No, he goes up there and says, shut up, be still. Yeah. <clears throat> he just speaks it. He doesn't beg. He's not just boom. Mm-hmm. Now, there are things you are to ask for. Right. But there's things you're not to ask for because it's already been given to you. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to be clear. There are yeah. things you do ask for, but there are um, times that you just release what you already have. Okay. So give me some instances of things that you would ask for from the Lord. Uh, right off the top of my head, direction. Absolutely. Direction. Like, Lord, um, you want me to go here? Where do you want me to live? Where do you want me? To, or, or a situation. Uh, Lord, this is going on. And that's what's so key is you do ask to hear and then you release. And yeah. so, like, let's say I go to pray for someone and their shoulders hurt, right? Or they have arthritis. I'm going to go pray for arthritis. Okay. So I go to pray, and I can just say, arthritis, go. But then I don't do that. First, I listen. I ask the Lord. So I do ask, but I'm asking for direction. I say, Lord, okay, I'm going to pray. I'm going to rebuke this. I'm release the kingdom of heaven. We're gonna, and the Lord will speak to me. I'll say, well, they have bitterness, or they have someone that's really hurt them. And then you let that go because that's the root that that thing is holding on to. Mm-hmm. And so you need to talk to them about this. Let them get, let that go. Forgive that person. Forgive all the people that treated them wrong or messed up towards them. And when they do that and they release it, then that wound that the thing was gripping onto has no more grip. And I can just command to go and it's gone. Yeah. And so that's why it's important. I will ask and I will listen. Lord, what am I to do here? Then I release. Mm-hmm. So the asking is more to hear what he's saying, the rhema he's speaking, what he wants me to do. Then once I get it, it's like, you know, it's like asking where do I target this missile? Mm-hmm. But then I don't beg for the missile to come. I fire the missile. Right. It's good. I'm just asking, Lord, where do I put this target? Yeah. yeah. There's two parts to that. It's good. Mm-hmm. What about you, Tim? Wisdom too. Yeah. James says wisdom. So wisdom. Ask wisdom. So if everybody's lax, ask wisdom. And yeah. you, do, you have not because you ask not. Mm-hmm. Right. And we know Proverbs says wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. Mm-hmm. Ephesians 1, spirit of wisdom and revelation. Yeah. So that's something I ask for. And we're to ask that our joy may be full. Yeah. And John. Ask for yeah, joy may be full. Yeah. So, so there are many things um, scripturally. I think a good, I was thinking when you were talking about, because I know when I was young in the Lord, and most people struggle with condemnation, with guilt when they yeah. make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And the verse, as we were talking, because no one does this. When people mess up, I mean, think about your kids. You know, I'm around Jimmy and Sam, I'm around their, their children. If Actually, Marky probably is the only one who does it. Where if they mess up, they'll kind of come with their head down, a little afraid. But what does the scripture say? In Hebrews 4, 16, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace mm. that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help of need. How many people, when they mess up, come running to God like, oh my gosh, Lord, I'm so sorry. I really met. No, it's, we feel guilty. We feel condemned. Mm-hmm. But the Lord showed me something powerful. In the Greek, that word obtained is ekbalo. 
and it means to grab violently a hold of. It's the same Greek word when Jesus, it said he cast out demons with a word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the same authority Jesus used to cast out demons is the authority we need to grab a hold. You don't beg God for forgiveness. You don't beg God for his grace. You grab a hold of it by faith mm-hmm. and you believe his word. That's and good. so I think it, it goes into that releasing realm. Mm-hmm. As you release, you need something to release and faith is what grabs it. So all our faith is doing is what grace has already provided for. Right. Grace has made it away, but we need faith to respond. Exactly. To and think about it. It says, come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace. Right. Uh, but the thing is, you don't need mercy unless you screwed up. Yeah. So there, the person is coming and saying, come boldly. Who? You who have messed up. Yeah. You who have messed up, come boldly. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid after your biggest mistakes or what you think is your biggest mistakes or whatever. Don't be afraid to walk right with God and still ask him for things through grace. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because you need to believe it's deleted. It takes so much more faith to believe it's that true. God's deleted your sins yeah. mm-hmm. and that not feel condemned than it does to just go with your emotions. 100%. Mm-hmm. It takes no faith to go, oh, I feel guilty. I'm no good. God can't use me. You think you're being humble. No, you're being faithless. Yeah. yeah. Condemnation is in a faithless realm. Yeah. Because the Bible says there's therefore now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we got to do is believe that word more than what we're feeling. And then that becomes the reality and removes whatever's going on trying to do that. And so you're releasing the kingdom of God in that way. So how would I release the kingdom of God if I'm feeling condemned? I would say there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Condemnation, I command you to leave. You can't hang around here. Lord, thank you for getting. Oh, wow. Thank you. It's gone just like that. Now guess what I'm doing? All of a sudden, I love him more. Mm. I'm yeah. so thankful. Like, whoa, it was that easy? Yeah. I don't have to wait till my feelings change. Like, what? Thank you. I still might not even fully feel, but thank you. Oh, my goodness. Now faith's coming. I'm speaking it. Yeah. My ears are hearing it. My face being built. Thank you. Now I'm excited. I just loved him more than I did before. Mm. Yeah. Jesus said, the one that has sinned much loves That's much. much. Yeah. yeah. Turn it into love for him. Whoa, I love you more because you just forgave me when I knew I shouldn't. I still have, oh my goodness, thank you. Mm. Oh my goodness. And then you now I'm entering into praise. Thanks and praise. And condemnation hates praise. It can't hang out. So now I start praising. It just starts leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm praising. I'm thanking God. It all began in the realm of faith. That's the first realm. The praise realm, that thanks and praise realm is the same realm as the realm of faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you'll get into the realm of anointing, which you might feel, but then you're into worship, and that's another realm. But that yeah. first realm is a faith realm where you go beyond what you see and feel. Yeah. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah, uh, no. Oreos and uh, <laughs> ice cream. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I was, whatever. I was, pre- I was predicting. No, that's not my question. Okay, so you're talking about how a lot of people's <laughs> prayers are like begging and hoping mm-hmm. and just asking God yep. for things. So. If people are in that spot and we're telling them to go to this this different realm of mm-hmm. prayer, how would you guys encourage somebody to improve their prayer life or to build upon it to go to the next level in their prayer life? What does that look like? Well, um, Pastor Benny used to always say something powerful, and it's from the Psalms. David said, quicken me, Lord, according to your word. Mm-hmm. So the word births prayer. Mm-hmm. The word is the thing that will help you because we know... The scripture says in First John that if you don't know what you're praying, you're not praying according to God's will, you're not going to receive. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this in podcasts about healing and different truths that you have to understand. So the word has to be the foundation to birth your prayer. And I know for me, every day, like I have certain things I pray. Like there was a time I had like a confession sheet mm-hmm. where I would just get scriptures and declare things. And it was based off uh, Philemon 1.6. It says the communication of our faith becomes effective through the acknowledgement of every good work which is in us in Christ. Mm-hmm. So if I want if my I want my communication to become effective, I have to declare what's in me in Christ. So mm-hmm. we're seated in heavenly places. I have every spiritual blessing. You can just read Ephesians right. and you'll see them. And so that's I kind of did that for a season, but then to make it, you know, because everything has to start with a discipline. Yeah. Really. So I, I made a prayer sheet, I wrote them out, I took time. And honestly, there were times I didn't feel a thing. There were times I didn't sense the anointing, but I just did it faithfully and I built a reservoir of the word and I let the word do it. But now daily as I'm in the word and meditating on the word, I'll just, and Bill Johnson talks about this. He'll read the Psalms and he'll read till something touches him. Mm -hmm. And then once something touches him, that's what he knows the Holy Spirit's highlighting and then he'll just camp there. Mm -hmm. So again, it goes back to the word and not rushing through it, but really finding what the Holy Spirit's highlighting but if you're not in the word, you have no chance. Yeah. Right. 
I think there's times too where we can be so fixated on an issue in our life and we want to go to the Lord with that issue. But to hear from the Lord, you kind of have to set those things aside right. and just to yep. talk. Yeah. You're really good about that. I've learned a lot from both of you because you both are powerful prayers and we see that on stage and stuff. But what does your prayer time look like um, on your own? On my own? Well, no agenda. <laughs> Melt. <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> it's no agenda. Uh, when I begin prayer, I don't have an agenda. I might, it, honestly, it's relationships. It's different. If you're talking about prayer or spending time, they can kind of coincide. Sometimes I'll read my Bible to start. Sometimes, usually I just begin with praise because it's the first realm. Mm-hmm. And I praise and thank God because you can't even enter his presence without thanksgiving and praise, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so if you're not coming to him thankful and with praise, it, it, I always start there. It's mm-hmm. very easy. Um, but <clears throat> prayer for me, honestly, it, I will pray, first of all, like it says, for all men and rulers and authorities, and I'll pray for authorities and things like that. If I'm going into like an intercessory prayer type thing. Mm-hmm. But general prayer, spending time with God, um, I'll just begin to worship and love on Him. And um, honestly, as I pray and pray in the Spirit and just worship, I wait till it comes out of my heart. Mm-hmm. Like what, what, it's almost like I pray to him, but it's like he's praying it through me, mm-hmm. which the Bible talks about, you know, the mm-hmm. spirit. Yeah. And so I'll be praying stuff and I know this is not something I was mentally thinking about before I came in here. Right. And I'll pray in the spirit. I put all my selfish things at the end mm-hmm. if I'm even going to bring them up. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times yeah. I don't even bring them up and I set them aside and he gives me the answers to them as I'm just ministering to him. That's good. Well, I'm just, hey, I'm just here to love on you. Um, uh, ministering because this is something different. This is the type of prayer where I'm spending time out of intimacy and relationship with Him, mm-hmm. fellowshipping with Him. It's not a time where I'm coming and praying to intercede for certain situations necessarily. Because mm-hmm. um, there's differences. There are times. There's times where there like seeking the Lord something's on going it. on, yeah. and we're going to pray about this, and I'm going to get into it. Da da da. But for the most part, daily. And same things with scriptures is I'm in the word daily. And a lot of the frame or the word God will speak to me is because he reminds me of the things that were spoken in the mm-hmm. word. So I read it maybe a couple of days ago. Well, was that a waste? No, because then all of a sudden, a week or whatever later, it comes up and he reminds me of that word that I spoke then. So like you were saying, I build a reservoir up. Yeah. Now he has a bank to go to to remind me of what he said. So I'll be in a situation and he'll bring this verse to mind. that I never meant to memorize, never even tried, but I was just reading and all of a sudden he popped. He has something in my consciousness to work with because I've been in the word but if I was never in it he can't even remind me of it how can he even speak that word to me right so you, that's why it's so important you got to give him something to work with and so yeah I'll get in the word and do that there's other times I'll pray and ask the Lord for a word and I'll get in there and or you're just in your day it's amazing how often your daily reading just whatever you're reading he will take something in there that divinely lined up on that day for that moment for him right. to speak to you mm-hmm. We overcomplicate it, I think, and try too hard, honestly. More than a mm-hmm. formula is just give him your time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shut the door yep. and give him your time. Mm-hmm. Well, how is it? Am I going to do it perfect? I need the 10 steps of success. No. Mm-hmm. Just shut the door. Well, I read my Bible first. Do I praise first? Do I pra- just stop. Just shut the door. And then whatever you feel in your heart, start going. He will lead you. He's, if you're hungry, he will feed you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you're not hungry and you're not asking, you're not seeking, he can't steer a car. It's not moving. That's you good. just start moving. Yeah. Yep. Does that kind of help? Helps. That's yeah. Good. And so for me, I, I lay it all a, a lot of times in my personal requests to the end or don't even request them mm-hmm. because he knows them. Sometimes he makes them happen. Yeah. I just go to me. I, I go with no agenda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember a time like even before service, right? The thing you'd want to do, like let's say I'm getting ready to preach. And I'm, like I remember Father's Day one time I'm getting ready to preach and I'm upstairs and I was praying and the thought would be, Lord, what do I say? What am I doing? Da da da, da. Like, well, oh, help me this. I don't do that. I'm just here to worship and love on you. Mm-hmm. And I went into a vision right away, and Jesus started taking me over to other countries where people weren't saved and had me intercede for those people to get saved. Mm. Mm. And then he showed me it was Father's Day, mm. and he wanted to get his father a present. Mm. And for Father's Day, he wanted to get him souls saved. Mm. So and so he was having me intercede to pray for him. Mm-hmm. But I didn't go to that prayer session with an agenda. Because right. he'll do stuff that is above my natural thinking. Yeah. I wouldn't think, oh, it's Father's Day. Jesus wants to get his dad something. Yeah. I wouldn't even think like that. Because yeah. my religious mind says, he's religious. They don't, Father's Day, what the, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. 
But obviously he celebrates it because he talked to me about yeah. <laughs> he wants to get people saved for his dad. Mm-hmm. I would never even thought of that on my own. Mm-hmm. So good. And so I just went to a prayer time with no agenda. And it's a, uh, I get amazed at the prayers that come out of me mm-hmm. or the, what happens. But I go with no agenda. And I go and I consecrate myself. I'm not hanging out with 20 people before service, just talking and shooting the breeze. I'm mm-hmm. separating myself. Yeah. So whatever he wants to do or speak to me, he can do. Yeah. You know what I think is neat, too, is um, even with having – been doing more podcasts and stuff sometimes you feel like this pressure and you guys speak all the time to have like what does the lord want to say to people and like the lord's been putting on my heart just spend time with me to spend time with me not to Mm -hmm. get you know a sermon to spread to other people it's just about him and i yeah 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 and then you can just speak out of your heart when you have when you're filled up in the word you're filled up spending time with him it'll yeah. just flow and that's up. it comes so easy, easy. like you don't so spend easy. a lot of time prepping for your, your i did sermons. zero i did zero prep for both chapels today yeah mm-hmm. but it just god will and put an impression on your heart i shouldn't i shouldn't say zero i did zero prep for the chapel but i prep 24 7 every day right yeah. so yeah. it'd be like did you train for this maximum weightlift today well i didn't do a specific specific prep yeah. For you to do my my bench max workout today, yeah. but if I've been working out every day, I'm just ready. Whenever you want to do yeah. it, we'll throw it on there and we'll do it. Right. Yeah. So that's the key is just consistency. Speaking yeah. of benching, are we getting back in the gym? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, did you keep up with your workouts? I did. I did. I got three good uh, three good ones in, even with my little food malfunction. <laughs> I took um, I'm back under 200 Melissa. pounds, so no, that's good. you did not take a week off because... Yes, I went on the flow rider. I oh, was yeah, surfing. Bro, you, yeah, you were bro, doing... my abs. <laughs> oh, I was just I trying to lay down. It. My abs were so sore just from like a little bit on that little surf. He was yeah. done Waving for it the rest of the time. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, that's hardcore going work. Up, yeah, and then going up and down the stairs for the water slides. Just a little yeah. bit of, oh, wow. Little, <laughs> yeah, it's a workout. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I did the rock climbing wall. I made it to the top. Really? I did. How high was it? I don't know how high was it. Amateur hour. Oh, please. Amateur <laughs> hour. Hey, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> no, it was decent. No, it was, it was, it was yes. decent. She did decent. Yeah. She, she, got that she, she did it, so it must have been really difficult. <laughs> That's good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job. So are you guys getting back on the basketball court this week? Tuesday. Tuesday? One of these Tuesday. days. Uh, there Maybe might be a not. home baseball game. We got our last we'll week figure out. We got to stay in shape, though. Week. Yeah. But you stay in shape physically and spiritually, mm-hmm. and they go together. They do. Yeah, I'm struggling to find time for both right now. <laughs> but like self-control, like it goes together. Yeah. yeah. And you see that even in scriptures, food for the body. <laughs> by the, what? We just got off a cruise. I've had some prof- profound encounters in the weight room. See, what's nice here is we have our own little weight room. So I can go in there like, if you go in a public gym, I, I can still kind of encounter the Lord. And you pray for people, but being in here, because I, I have times where I'll spend time with the Lord in the morning, and then I'll go to the gym. And I'll just, and that's why I think people don't realize Jesus goes with you where you're going. Absolutely. It's not like, oh, I left my prayer closet and I'm leaving the Lord in there. Mm-hmm. Like he wants to go with you when you leave the prayer closet and wherever you go. And that's something I really I, I haven't had a lot of encounters in, in the weight room, but my workouts well, you're, are five you're, minutes. You're only in the, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> five minute workout. You're only in the weight room I've for only had a minutes. few. <laughs> See, when you do a bunch of, hey, when you do forums for an hour, you give yourself a chance yeah, to have you your encounter. butt flexes. I don't even know what you're doing in there. <laughs> Tim's just... <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. I don't know what he's doing. No, no, no. I get in he? there. I move the weight around. I get out. He does. He moves quick. He, he moves quick. Now, Tim, did you talk to anybody about the Lord on your trip? We did. We did. I had a I had a real good encounter um, with uh, there was a, I was waiting for an Uber to pick me up, and there was a security guard, and uh, he was a bigger man, a Samoan guy, and I went up to him and just started talking to him, and I said, I just sense you know you could sense people know the Lord. Yeah. I said, Hey, man, you're a Christian, aren't you? He said, Yeah. I said, what's your name? And he had a Hawaiian name. Yeah. And I said, what does it mean? Can you and try it, and say it? And it was, I, I can't. <laughs> pool, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't even try it. Uh, but it meant, to, it, meant it, it had peace in it. Oh, cool. And I looked at him and I said, you're, you're the stable one in the peace for your family. Wow. I said, they rely on you. Because, you know, the Hawaiians, they have big families too. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I just gave him a good word from the Lord. He's like, man, I really appreciate that. Thank mm. you so much. I said, yeah, man, I'm a pastor from Palm Springs. And just got the fellowship and minister to him. And it was really good. Um, you know, it was blessing. Talked to a couple of my Uber drivers about the Lord, and they kind of, you know, when people are open, they start talking, then you bring up Jesus, they stop talking, it means they're kind of done, which is okay. But really, an amazing testimony is I baptized my sister in the ocean. Oh, nice. oh cool. My small sister never been baptized. She said, I want you to baptize me. And so we went out there, and we did a baptism, so it was really cool. We almost Very had cool. one in the jacuzzi. We almost Yeah, did. we did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, that's, that's good. That's awesome. Well, I hope some of this helps you with prayer. Yeah. With, um how to pray, how to release things, and honestly, just get going. And when you get around it, 
you know, is what really helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. honestly, I could teach no one how to pray, but you just listen to how we pray when we start service or whatever it is, you know, mm -hmm. it just starts rubbing off on you and you pick up on it. And so even things like this, listening to this, just some of the things we talk about, it helps and will help you. And I encourage you, go after God, like go shut the door, put on some worship music and get still, block everything out. Yeah. You know, I remember Bobby Connor and he says it, but <laughs> Jesus said, when it comes to my people seeking me, I detest multitasking. He said he shook his finger mm. in his face. That, that I one detest. got me. Well, I detest multitasking. That means wow. you're not watching Seinfeld while you're seeking God. You shut everything off and you yeah. seek him. Mm. Well, for me, so. I always would like, I'm doing dishes or I'm, you know, cleaning. And when I heard that, I was like, oh my goodness. I put the laundry down. And, and I, you can still mm. encounter the Lord doing those you things. Can. But yeah. it's not the same as when you say, I, because think about it. If someone important came to meet with you, it's an audience with the king. Mm -hmm. Right. You would not be doing the dishes when someone like that comes in. Yeah. You mm -hmm. give them your full attention in a meeting. If I had a meeting with someone in my office, we shut the door. To you and me, for this amount of time, I have allotted. It's your time. Mm -hmm. yeah. doesn't mean I'm not going to hang out with them outside of that time. And you can hang out, but there's, it's a certain designated time where I am, I, everything's blocked. I'm not even going, like, let's, yeah. it's, it's a consecration. 100%. Powerful. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, good. I'm glad you guys tune in today. Very Next strong. week, we'll have Pastor Fred on. It's going to yeah. be great. We're going to have a, a, a good one. So and Tuesdays, I had some fun Tuesdays today. Sandy's podcast. Yeah. Every Tuesday. Yep. Yes. Check in Sandy's podcast. Check, Check it in. out. Yep. Check it out now. All right. I don't want to get copyright strike, so we're done. Don't <laughs> sing Amen. it. Don't sing. You got to make your own tune to it. <laughs> it's right. All right. Well, hey, God is good, man. We're having a good time. Amen. Glad to have you on here. And uh, I want you to leave the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So walk mm -hmm. out today, having listened to this with joy. Right. Not walk out. Turn off. You're done. Anyway, God bless you. <laughs> Have the joy of the Lord. God is your strength. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Goodbye. <laughs>